Uh, welcome to another edition of 2017 Marketing SEO Class. Today we're going to talk about the latest developments in marketing and SEO. And I'm going to share with you 17 cool real estate marketing ideas that you can use today, right now, in 2017. You know, a lot of times people ask me, Chris, what is marketing? How did you get into it? And to be perfectly honest with you, there's a lot of different aspects of marketing. And I started in real estate. But enough about me. Let's dive into the 17 real estate techniques you need right now. Number one, I want you to start buying lunch for your local public servants. What? What I want you to do is bring sandwiches for the local firehouse or bagels to your local libraries. And I want you to get out there and I want you to hit the pavement running. Okay. Number two, I want you to put your office somewhere public. Okay, what I mean by this is hang out at your local coffee shop, your local Starbucks, your local Boomtown coffee place. All right? And with the handwritten sign, I want you to have it on there and say, ask me about anything real estate. You'll be surprised at how many people will come up to you and start talking to you about real estate. Boom, you got a lead. Number three, I want you to change your message on your phone. Okay? Don't have the generic voicemail saying, oh, sorry, so-and-so at 832 is not here right now. Speak very slowly, articulate your words, and stick your message to yourself with one of these magnets. For example, hello, this is Christopher. I'm not in the office right now, but I can take a message. Hang on a second while I get a pencil. Open a drawer, get some paper, Pull it around and say, okay, what would you like me to tell me? Uh, number four, I want you to sponsor a cause that matters to you. Anything from rescuing animals to perhaps maybe you know children related, cancer, brain tumors, connect your cause to your brand. Don't just do it once. Make it part of your brand for the entire year. And I want you to focus on it. Start a charity, start a cause within your community. You can do this easier than ever through the sites like Rockstar Connect, for example. <clears throat> Excuse me. Number five, I want you to share what you know. Are you part of an organization? Are you part of a book club, a chamber of commerce, a softball team, an intramural club? Offer to speak at your area, offer to speak about your expertise in these areas. From first time buyers to fixer uppers, Bring your experience to the forefront. You can even invite your referral partners to join you, people that you normally work with, your preferred loan officers, your preferred home stagers, attorneys that you work with on a regular basis. Share what you know. Number six, be Oprah. Close your eyes and envision yourself as Oprah. Interview one of your clients. Meet them at their office, invite them to your office, invite them to lunch, make it casual. Talk about your latest seller, about what made their home special for them. Or ask first time home buyer, what surprised them most about the transaction? Make it fun, something that you'd wanna share. Number seven, reach out to past clients. What I want you to do is run a digital ad campaign everywhere on the web but only for people you've worked with and thank them for working with you have the ad link it to a landing page where they can sign up to meet you for coffee how great is this <coughs> reach out to them your past clients bring them back number eight do a brand health checkup ask your colleagues and clients to describe you in three words are they the same words you would use is there overlap? If you like what you hear, integrate those words into your branding, okay? You need, to, you need to bring your brand up. Do a health check on it. Evaluate it. Number nine, imagine your ideal client. I want you to create this persona by describing the client you want to work with, okay? Know everything you can about this person, where they hang out, what their interests are, how old are they, are they male, are they female, what stage and life are they in? What generation are they? 
then compare them to the current uh, brand that you work with, the current people you're already working with. How would this persona respond to your brand as it is now? Do you need to tweak some things within yourself, within your social community, within your website, within your advertising? Very important. Number two, connect your offline to online. What I mean by this is use digital listing ads that look like the just listed, just, sold, just sold postcards you're mailing out. Okay, have that link between offline and online so it's seamless transition between the two. All right, seven more to go. Number eleven, host a safety day at a ele local elementary school. Okay, these kids can get a free bike helmet, and you could even invite the fire department out there <coughs> to help with parents on, you know, installing car seats how to uh, look out for your home, smoke detectors, etc. Be creative with it, but host a safety day at your local elementary school. Think about how many leads and how many parents you need who want to perhaps buy a larger home or go ahead and downsize. Number 12, invest a guest. Invite a guest to write on your site. So invite a guest blogger that you guys can partner up with. Who is a local expert that you admire? Someone local. Send them an email. Call them. Reach out to them on social media, invite them. Of course, a blogger is going to want the experience and the opportunity to write on another person's website. Uh, even if that person isn't in real estate, it's a great opportunity. You know, you can offer some someone else a chance to be published. Then that person will share the post that lives on your blog, and now you're creating backlinks, and now you're in the world of SEO. All right, number 13. I want you to host an art show in your broker's office. Now think about how fun this will be. There's a lot of artists, artists out there who need to get their work out, need to get their work out there for people. Think about local photographers, local painters, you can find them in Houston Press or do an easy Google search and host a ga their gallery and make an event out of it. If you have some featured listings or some luxury listings, go ahead and get yourself a couple bottles of wine Run down to H-E-B or Kroger's and get yourself a couple of cheese plates and, uh, and serve them out. Boom. Think about how cool that's going to be. How many people are going to come out there? Number 14, sponsor a movie night. So think about how many families you're going to be able to get in one place if you can get yourself a nice, hip, cool, uh, recent video. And you can do this at your local library. You can do this at a local chamber of commerce, a local elementary school. Um, you could do this at Dave and Buster's. Just be creative. You just need a space to host a movie. And then obviously go ahead and get yourself some popcorn and some healthy snacks and maybe some waters to pass out. And then brand it. Brand those water bottles. Put your business card on those snacks and whatnot and make a fun night out of it. Number 15, go in on a social media fad. So this one's, uh, you know, this one's current. So whatever is hot at the moment, you want to jump on that fad. I want you to think about the ice bucket challenge, the ALS ice bucket challenge. Think about the mannequin challenge, right? Some sort of dance craze. Get your team, your office to, to do this and then post it. Don't forget to use the hashtags and ultimately just put this on your social media and get out there and get some brand exposure for yourself. If you want, include a landing page or send them to a website or... Uh, get them to join you or follow you on social media. Number 16, celebrate a non-traditional holiday. So this is also another um, fun fad thing that you can do. So think about uh, Valentine's Day. Think about donuts on Donut Day, right? We just had Margarita Day here not too long ago. So you could, you know, blend up some margaritas, uh, shake up some margaritas at your broker office, invite some people to come over and hang out with you. Do this at lunchtime between 12 and, or 11 and 2. Uh, finally, number 17, the one we've all been waiting for, okay? Host a virtual reality roundup. Now, virtual reality, augmented reality, this is the next phase of the evolution of entertainment, okay? Think about the Oculus that Samsung has right now. Uh, learn more about virtual reality if you don't know anything about it yet. There's a difference between virtual reality and augmented reality. Augmented reality is the one that's incorporating with the cell phones. And what you can do is let your home shoppers view these homes uh, via Matterport or, you know, they can view other content from the comfort of their own home or your own office. So there you go. 17 marketing tips that you can use in 2017 and get started with right now. 
As always, this is Christopher Lindsay signing off. You can follow me on social media or go ahead and Google my name. I'll be the gentleman uh, that does not have a mugshot for my image. Christopher Lindsay, find me on LinkedIn. And uh, you can always email me at chrislindsay at gmail.com. That's chris without the I, C-H-R-S, lindsay at gmail.com. Have a good one. Be great.